Our first question is from Saad Yusuf. Saad? Hey, Joe. Uh, obviously, you have the reputation of being a net front player and, and being really good there, but how, how much does it help you when you're able to just move around on the power play where you were in the were in position for the one-timer than along the blue line and, and just being versatile in that way? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it always enhances a power play whenever you're – you have moving parts and you aren't glued to a spot. And um, we have that understanding is sometimes you just got to get the puck back. And we got a lot of guys that have played different spots and you, you try to get in your spots when you can in, in your sets, but there's going to be times where it's broken. And tonight you, there were a lot of power plays. So there were times, um, you know, where you need to slide in on certain ones and if it's a broken change or anything like that, but yeah, no, it was, it was good to have the puck a little bit there. Our next question is from Mike Heike. Mike. Hey, Joe. Uh, can you take us through like that first before the game? There's got to be a little bit of nervousness since there's no preseason. And then as you go through it, how does the team feel? Yeah, I mean, I guess you – it was going into a game like that, no preseason, a broken training camp. It was uh, – you know, we did a lot of skating with the attempt to uh, – have our legs and be ready for tonight. And that was something we wanted to come into this game with no excuses, really. And we wanted to build a match their work ethic or even try to outwork it. And um, you know what? It, it turned into a special teams game tonight. But overall, you, f you feel good. And, it, you know, it's somewhat of a formula. It's just you, you can't overextend yourself, whether you're first game of the year or, or towards the end of the season. So it, we, for the most part, we had good changes all night. And you guys never really got caught out too long. Next, we'll go to Sean Shapiro. Sean? Hey, Joe, what was it like to actually play with people in the stand? Obviously, it's, uh, it's something. Is, is it been, was it weird at all after the last 25 games or so? We used to no one in the stands, and now 4,000, 5,000, whatever it was here tonight. Uh, you know what? It was awesome. It was. I think that was probably one of the things we looked forward to the most was getting back and, and having a few people in the building. And um, it, it was – Pretty cool when, when they start chanting for Dobie and, you know, you definitely heard them for the limited fans that were, they, they were there. It was something, you know, anything was going to help us. And it was, they showed up. It was, there was a lot of excitement in this building. And I think we were just excited to get back out and play in front of them. It's, it's been a while. Next we'll go to Dan Rosen. Dan. Yeah. Joe, when you guys go through what you did last year, you come into camp this year, like you said, it's a broken camp. You don't know what it's going to be like. You, you, you can probably envision it, but you don't have a real sense of it. Does this validate the work you put in tonight? You know, what you, the work you guys put in, what you did tonight, and is, does it does it give you the confidence to know that the power play can work? Everything you know, the special teams can work. You know, just just one night, but the way it all went down tonight, it helps. Um, you know, it's it's good to get out there, get some game you know, feeling and you try to ramp up practice and get the intensity as high as you can. And there's still nothing like a game. And I think we had one scrimmage um, in our camp and you leave feeling like you wish you could have another one. Um, but to get out there and, you know, kind of the emotions, the juices get flowing and it, it was fun to get out there and compete. And um, it's been one game, you know, it, it's one game. So we, we got a long ways to go. We got some things we can work on and, um, you know, the best thing on the special teams tonight was probably Adobe. And, you know, that's one where one place we can improve, just stay out of the box a little bit, not make it as, as hard as we did tonight at times. And our last question is from Saad Yusuf. Saad? Hey, Joe, you mentioned him a couple of times already, but just how big was Anton today, especially in that first period, to keep the score at 0-0 zero, zero to, to let you guys get going there in the second? Yeah, it, it, he was huge. Um, you know, I guess fully understand how nice that is when they get a couple of dangerous chances and, and he, you know, fights off those shots and makes the save and um, allows us to get going and get on the power play and get a lead. It, it's, it's always nice when you don't have to ch chase a game. And, you know, those saves he made early were, were huge for that and um, allowed us to get that lead and, and play in front. All right. Thanks so much, Joe. Thanks.